Last year, UNRWA commissioned 15 tarmac roads in Barra City at a tune of 43 billion shillings so are refunded by government. Despite that, only 30% of the fiscal development plans have been implemented due to financial constraints according to a recent survey conducted by the Mbarra City Authority. The delay has affected development of other critical infrastructures such as housing and commercial buildings which are vital for business operations. City area clerk Abirebe Asitu Mwesijire says they are struggling to use the little resources raised from local revenue. This is a government grant, and we need our money for us to be able to implement this fiscal government grant. Because even this is what we find, the only fund we get is for maintenance of existing roads, the road fund. We don't, we just struggle with you, our local revenue, but if we are really to have cities which are well run, we need a fund for us to be able to implement these development plans. Since 2020, no new roads have been opened, according to City Mayor Robert Mugabe Kachevezi, because funds from the road budget are so are used for maintaining already existing roads. As a result, it has an impact on city operations because a larger workforce is difficult to accommodate. We have so many roads to be worked on. We lack equipment. It is of recent that Mara City actually got money from uh, taxpayers here, we managed to buy our own grader. We bought one. But uh, we are lacking equipment as of now. We have roads which were supposed to open. We are stuck. The engineer has gone even to ministry. Their machines are down. We are completely stuck and the services are not as of March 2023, a 74-kilometer Mbarara Chikagati Morongo Bridge Road upgrading project funded by the government of Uganda was completed, giving hope that more will be done. Vice Chairperson of the Quality Assurance Committee, Sewungu Joseph Gonzaga, said they will come up with a report promoting the development of cities and advocate for the creation of a new law that can easily enable cities to run better off than when they remain under the Local Government Act. After this, the other cities... We shall prepare a very good report which is in favor of promoting the development of cities. Uh, I, I, for one, I don't agree you to be running the cities under the local government act. I would prefer that we create a new statute law which runs the cities. If that one is not in place, you will end up seeing that the Lord Mayor of Kampala at a different status not moving. Actually, if it's getting 240 billion, should be getting the same because you are running the cities. But of course, the question is about revenue collection. But the intention of this is to see them growing. Government and city authority need to provide more support to the city by increasing its funding allocation, helping the city access external funding sources, and taking bold steps to expand its revenue base and improve its financial management practices, respectively. Bronya Katsime, Ketnam Gera, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.